You're about to witness a dinosaur fight unlike anything you've seen in the movies. This wasn't a clean, roaring battle. It was a messy, brutal act of survival. Imagine two Tyrannosaurus Rex, not circling each other in an open field, but trapped in a dense, dark forest. Rain lashes down, mud pulls at their massive feet. One is a seasoned veteran, scarred from countless battles. The other is younger, faster, but reckless. They don't just roar. They emit low-frequency rumbles that shake the very ground, sounds designed to intimidate, to paralyze their rival with fear before the first blow even lands. The older T-Rex lowers its head, not to charge, but to present the thickest part of its skull. It's using its head like a battering ram. The younger one sidesteps, its massive tail whipping around, not just for balance, but as a powerful bone-crushing weapon. It connects with the veteran's leg, a sickening crack echoing through the trees. But here's the twist scientists discovered. The most devastating weapon wasn't their teeth. It was their bite force combined with a septic bite. A T-Rex's mouth was a sewer of deadly bacteria. One deep bite, even if the victim escaped, meant a slow, agonizing death from infection days later. The fight wasn't just about immediate victory, it was about delivering a single fatal wound. The older Rex lunges. It's not aiming for the neck like in the films. It targets the flank, the soft underbelly. Its teeth, thick as railroad spikes, don't slice, they puncture and crush, driving bacteria deep into the wound. The younger one shrieks, a sound of pure agony and tries to break free. But the damage is done. The veteran releases its grip, stepping back. It doesn't need to chase, it just needs to wait. The fight wasn't a spectacular duel. It was a calculated biological execution. And this terrifying method of hunting wasn't unique to the T-Rex. Many predators had their own dark secrets. 